Yo, what's going on guys, Tennis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to implement and add the fuss bot to your YouTube stream. This has been a really helpful bot for me in increasing watch retention and just increasing overall viewer engagement in a live stream. It allows people to collect points while they're watching the stream. It allows you to implement commands and announcements, create polls, do giveaways. It even has built-in spam protection and allows your chat to play some mini games as well. In today's video, in the interest of keeping it short, I'm gonna show you guys simply how to attach the bot to your your YouTube account to your YouTube live stream. And then in future videos, I'll show you guys how to configure commands and announcements, points, polls, and all that good stuff. If you guys do go ahead and enjoy today's video, make sure you do drop a like, subscribe for more great tutorials like this. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial at any point, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. And I'll do my best to answer some of the most common questions. And you may even be able to get some help from some other people down in the comment section as well. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is navigate to the Fussbot homepage. I will leave a link to this in the description down below. It's fussbot.io. Once you're here, the current layout of their website, they do have a free download button right on the homepage. When you click that, it will redirect you to their download screen where you will have an EU server download option and a US server download option. And there will be two buttons underneath each of these categories, x64 or x86. Unfortunately, this bot does not have versions available for Mac OS X or Linux. So you do have to have a Windows machine in order to run this bot. And I do not know if the developer has any plans to create any version for an operating system other than Windows in the future. So the way you're going to determine whether or not you want to download the x64 version or the x86 version is by going down to your search bar here if you're on Windows 10, typing in this PC. When it comes up, right click on it and go to properties and you will see a system type right here. It'll either be 64-bit or 32-bit. Since I have a 64-bit, I'm going to download the x64 version. If you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to download the x86 option. And since I live in the United States, I'm going to go ahead and download it underneath the US server and I'm going to download the Fussbot X64 and then I'm just going to go ahead and save that in my downloads folder. It is a relatively small download, but once it is saved on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open it up and it should start the installation wizard. Now keep in mind, in order for Fussbot to work, you do have to have Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013 and Net Framework 4.6 installed on your Windows computer. If you don't have those, which you most likely do because they are fairly common, then there will be download links available on the Fussbot download page for you to click on and download for your operating system. Assuming that you have both of these things installed, once the Fussbot installation is up, you're gonna to wanna to Go ahead and click next, agree to the terms of service, click next again. You can allow it to install in the default directory, which will be in the program files folder on your C drive in another folder called fussbot underscore YTG for YouTube gaming. Click next and then click install. If you're prompted with a user account control, you can click yes and then wait for fussbot to install. Once Fussbot has finished installing, you can keep this box checked, which will automatically launch Fussbot after the installation. And Fussbot only takes a few seconds to launch here, but when it does, you will be greeted with the home screen. Now, this is your main dashboard for Fussbot. This is where you're going to be able to see a lot of statistics while your live stream is actually running. Underneath live stream status here, it's going to show a short chat delay alongside the current number of viewers in your stream. So the first thing that you want to do once you're here in order to actually add this Fussbot to your YouTube stream is go underneath the settings tab. Now, underneath primary YouTube gaming login, there will be two prompts for authentication, and you can do this in one of two ways. Fussbot has a really cool feature which allows the bot to live on a separate YouTube account aside from your main YouTube channel. So for example, my main YouTube channel name is Pro Hennis, but the bot that actually lives in my live stream that does all my commands and collects all the points for my viewers is called ProBot. Now I recommend this purely for aesthetic purposes in my chat. I think it looks weird if the broadcaster, aka me, is typing in the chat over and over over again, responding to users, telling them how many coins they have and giving certain announcements for people to follow my Twitter or subscribe to my channel or to drop a like. So I like to keep everything separate by having a separate YouTube channel for my bot. So I'll go ahead and walk you guys through that process right now. So underneath the status of streamer login, this is where you're going to actually log in using your main YouTube account, your YouTube channel. So for me, that's Pro Hennis. I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and then I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. And then on this page, I'm going to go ahead and choose my actual YouTube channel, which is ProHennis, not my email, but my actual channel. And then I'm going to go ahead and click allow. And then if I did everything correctly, I'll get a little window that says authentication successful and I'll click OK. Now you'll see the status of the streamer login changed to authenticated, which means that the streamer account, the actual YouTube channel itself has been authenticated through the bot. So just like I was talking about earlier, if you simply want your YouTube channel to be the main hub for the bot, then you can go ahead and do the exact same process that we just did for the streamer login for the bot login. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you guys how to create a new YouTube channel 
for your bot. So if you're like me and you wanna go ahead and create a brand new YouTube channel for your bot account, what you can do is actually go to this link that Fussbot conveniently supplies right on the settings page, and that's youtube.com forward slash channel underscore switcher. You can copy that link, open up your internet browser, and paste that into a new tab. And once you get to that page, it will actually show you all the channels that you currently have underneath the email you're logged in for. For me, it's prohennis at gmail.com. Now, if you click create a new channel, it will actually give you the option to create a brand new brand account. And what you're gonna enter into this field is the name for your actual bot. Now, for my own personal tastes and style, I would wanna create a bot account that's similar to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash prohennis. So I would create a bot called ProBot, but in reality, you can call this bot whatever you want. The beauty is you can actually give this any name that you want because it is a brand account. So you could literally just smash your hand on your keyboard and call your bot that if you wanted to, but odds are you guys probably want your bot to be given a cool name. So once you guys have a cool name for your bot, you're gonna wanna enter that here and then click create. But since I've already done that, I'm gonna go back to Fussbot and show you guys how to authenticate your brand new bot account. So very similar to the way we did it for the YouTube channel, the streamer login, you're gonna wanna click new authentication. And I'm gonna wanna go ahead and use another account because I personally have a whole new email address for my bot. If you guys did what Fussbot suggests for you to do, by going to the channel switcher and creating a brand new account right here, what you should see when you click this new authentication button is a new account right here underneath your exact same email with the exact name that you entered into that brand account. So for me, it would be ProBot, but like I said, since I have a separate email address, I'm gonna go ahead and log into another account. For me, I have my bot living on another account called ProHennisBot, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that username and then enter that password. And then once I've done that, I'll see the option for my ProBot account right here. So I'm gonna click that. And then just like what we did before, I'm going to click Allow. And if you did everything successfully, you will have another authentication successful window where you can simply go ahead and click OK. So this is the last step you have to do in order to configure the Fussbot. If you've done everything correctly up to this point, both of these statuses should say authenticated. And all that this simply means is that the Fussbot application now has access to your YouTube channel and your bot account. Now, in order to make sure that everything's working properly, head back over to the dashboard tab and select underneath live stream chats, default channel chat, and then click connect. And you'll notice this status will change from red to green, indicating that the bot has successfully connected to your YouTube gaming live stream chat. So what we're gonna do now is run two very simple tests. Click on the control tab up top, and then make sure you're underneath the chat tab here on the left-hand side. And what you'll see here on the main part of your screen is your stream chat. And this is gonna show every message that's been typed in your stream chat since you've clicked the connect button. So for most of you guys, this will be blank as it is for me right now because no messages have been typed in my chat since I loaded up and connected the Fussbot to my stream. So in order to check and make sure that this actually works, I'm gonna open up another tab here of my YouTube live dashboard. And this is gonna give me a little preview of my chat right now. You can see it does have a few leftover chat messages from my viewers at the end of my last live stream, but that's not important. All you wanna do is just make sure that you have this loaded up because this is gonna show all of the messages that are coming through your YouTube live stream. And you guys can get to your own YouTube stream dashboard by going to this link in the description down below and making sure that you are logged into your main YouTube channel account. For some of you guys, if you worked on creating a separate bot account, you may still be underneath your bot account. So just make sure that you are logged into your main YouTube channel account up here in the upper right hand corner. So once you're here on your dashboard, you can open up the Fussbot again and just leave it off to the left hand side here so you can still see your YouTube live chat dashboard behind you. And in this field down here, you'll see a drop down arrow for two different options, streamer account and bot account. So when you have streamer account selected and you type a message in your chat and click send, I should see a message placed in my YouTube live chat underneath my pro Hennis channel, my streamer account. So this will be my main YouTube channel sending a message saying hello in my YouTube chat. If I click send, that message should pop up here momentarily and it does. You can see I just said hello in my chat. And that confirms that the streamer account has been successfully added to the Fussbot. And now we can go ahead and test the bot account. So I'll open up the bot account and I'll type hey and click send. Now what I should see over here on the right hand side is my bot type in the chat and say hey. Now this is an awesome opportunity for you guys to go ahead and mod your bot account. Make your bot a moderator of your channel. And you can do that by clicking on the three dots here on the right hand side of your bot and clicking add moderator. For me, since my bot is already a moderator of my channel, I see the option to remove moderator. I'll do that here just to demonstrate. So it'll say ProBot is no longer a moderator of your channel. If I wanted to mod the account again, I click the three dots and then click add moderator and I'll get a little message saying ProBot is now a moderator for your channel.
And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. This confirms that Fussbot has been successfully added to your YouTube channel. Again, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. And I didn't go into the nitty gritties of how to configure coins, ranks, commands, announcements, bank heists, arenas, or anything like that in this tutorial simply for this purpose of keeping it short. I will be releasing subsequent tutorials on how to actually configure all of these things in the future. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial and found it helpful, make sure you do go ahead and drop a like on the channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm going to be up uploading a ton of tutorials here on how to improve your YouTube gaming live streams, how to get more viewers, how to improve your Twitch streams, and cool little add-ons that you can bring to your channel and your viewers just like this. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.